First, select your topic you want to speak. Selection is most important for any speech, for any topic. If you select your choiceable topic, you can speak with confidence. Before final speech, you have to practice. During practice, try to speak in front of a mirror or your friend. Select your audience group. Here two points are most important. Whenever you want to practice, so you have to practice before the mirror so that you can understand your wrongs, your faults, you can change, you can rectify yourself. And the second one, select your audience group. That means you have to choose the audience in which this belongs to. That means the audience may be educated persons, child or woman. You have to choose yourself. Dress properly. Your dress is reflecting your personality. So before your presentation or before your speech, your lecture, you have to dress properly. PowerPoint presentation for your topic may make this more attractive. If it is possible for you to make a PowerPoint presentation on your topic, then please make it. It will be very effective to understand your audience and it will be very confidence in you. Drink little water before your speech. Whenever you are just starting your speech, drink little water. Don't worry. You have a lot more practices. So don't worry. You can do it. First, speak slowly. Don't be so haste. Don't start quickly. First, speak slowly. Whenever your speech is going on, you should tell the photographer or your friend to make the video recording of your speech so that you can rectify in your future speeches. Or when you practice, mock practice, then you too can do video recording to rectify your wrongs. A good speech is called you have to act yourself. That means you are an actor. You have to act yourself. You have to sell your yourself just like vendors or hawkers. As you find the hawkers or vendors in different areas, they are selling their products. So you are just here to sell your opinion, your thought. So you have to just like vendors or hawkers, a lot of confidence should build in you. A little joke on yourself you can do to make everyone amused or love. But please don't comment or don't amuse at others. Try to make yourself joke at yourself, not of others, because they may feel insulted. You have to start and you have to finish within a time. You have no lot of time. And the people before you, the audience, will listen to you for a moment, not for a long time. You have to be keep in mind that. You should use your body language. Your body language will reflect your speech. You should use your hands, hand movements. It will be very good for you. Voice clarity is needed. If you speak very slowly, silently, then nobody will hear you attentively.
so your voice will reach to everyone's ear look around the audience don't focus on specific angle please you have to look around the audiences on an every angles the audience not on specific angle you have to cite burning examples that will make your speech more lively if you have the examples you can cite that will make each and everybody understandable this is the most important audience should give chance to interact or to question you if any audience want to interact with you if they want to question with you and they don't understand anything you are just telling so you have to give the opportunity to interact with you the last and most important for everyone if you forget the speech in the middle just say thank you and just say thank you for listening to me you can also say sorry or once again i would like to thank you all for your patient hearing thank you and then just leave the stage your audience will understand you without complexity don't fumble just say thank you for your listening and just leave the stage nobody will mis misunderstand you thank you